OS Community, OS Daily, February 15th. Your one-stop shop for sports gaming news is a go. Our first topic, Madden Patch 1.10. It's been out on the Xbox One and PS4 for over 24 hours. Impressions are overly positive with a couple of drawbacks. The positives, offensive linemen are now viable, especially elite tier. No longer will you be getting insta-shed by low defensive linemen. That seems to be fixed, but the counter to that is it looks like some of the meta blitzes, including Nickel Blitz 2, is are still effective. Possibly you could fix that with some halfback blocking, but we've seen it still bring heat to the outside, taking out a lot of online playbooks. The other major item that was fixed is rack catching. There was an issue with game speed that was causing rack catching to miss the frames that were involved in the animation process. Everything has been normalized to normal speed. You salary cap and online head to headers will notice an immediate impact on the speed of the game. Give it a little bit of time, try to get used to it because you are now going to be able to rack catch without the bugged drops you had before. Next up on the docket, we have the a big MLB Diamond Dynasty gets dynamic live stream earlier today, summarized very, very well as everything is going to be constantly changing in Diamond Dynasty keeping that mode alive even longer next year. One of the new things we saw were events brought up. How you're going to be involved in those, there is no buy-in, but it will be like Battle Royale in terms of the rewards. You will get two losses, and then however many wins you have before those two losses will be what reward you get. You can re-enter as many times as you want because as you see above me, there are cumulative win awards as well. What you didn't know is that events will also consist of three, six, or nine inning games at times. Good for some, turn off for others, but you don't have to play every event. I for one think this change is welcome. Anything to continue keeping all of the cards that I have relevant because there are caps to the overall rating on some of these events as well. Get your silver sluggers ready, boys. We also saw on the same stream, they are going to be calculating overall ratings differently, which has caused a new overall rating dynamic. 90 to 99 will be a diamond now, 85 to 89. 80 to 84 silver, 70 to 79, and 0 to 69. Those are the breakdowns now. But don't be alarmed if your favorite player looks lower rated overall. Overall rating does not matter. It has no effect on gameplay whatsoever. Be a better sports gamer. Research individual ratings. And speaking of individual ratings, we saw one of the most anticipated players in this year's game, the 99 overall hardware 97 MVP Ken Griffey Jr., the one you will get for the Diamond program, which will take possibly weeks to months of grinding different missions. Um, what you will see here, though, is a 95 contact, 99 power versus righties, and elite fielding statistics. This is not only one for you Mariners fans, this is one for fans of 90s baseball as a whole. Great card, cannot wait to get my hands on that. All of that being said, we also saw two more face comparisons come up. We saw Felix Hernandez show up on Operation Sports. Again, you see the lighting engine, the different hair, the way the eyes look. It's just a more alive representation of the player. The other player we saw was Masahiro Tanaka. Again, the skin tone alone makes him look more alive, but the eyes, it looks like I'm looking into the eyes of a live person, not the ghost eyes we talked about last show. Coming up after that, we saw Franchise Hockey Manager 3 release its final hotfix. Uh, two of the big fixes in this are AI backup goalie interaction. They will be putting the backup goalie in instead of keeping the starter in for most of the season. This is a huge fix for them. Um, big ups on them for figuring it out. Also, if you remember the 70s, 
fighting, 60s hockey, if you weren't throwing your fists, you weren't skating on the ice. Well, unfortunately, in Franchise Hockey Manager before today, that led to increased penalty numbers for the historic rosters. That has been tuned down. The entire fix list in the description, as, long as, as well as the links to the installers. Guys, if you are a hockey fan, Franchise Hockey Manager is one of the best sims I've played, and 3 is the best in the series. Jump on it right now. Last, but certainly not least, by the time you are watching this video, you will be able to grab Games with Gold, you Xbox Live Gold players. Project Cars is going to be available in Games with Gold for free. It is currently one of the better sim racers. I played it when it first came out and was not impressed, but they have put their heart and soul into the updates, folks. Do not sleep on this title, especially not for the magic price of free. We'll see you tomorrow for the OS Daily Operation Sports, dedicated to sports gaming. Have a nice night.